All right, guys. Good morning. Good morning. This is Dion, your 49 and reporter, back with another video. This is going to be a little more interactive, but uh, before we get into it, please hit that like button. Definitely hit that subscribe button so I can keep you up to date on any and everything San Francisco 49ers. So this video, I'm going to show you all the scoring plays that we had, <clears throat> and I'm going to show you all some reactions. I'm going to try to do as much live entertainment as I can without getting myself in trouble. Um, but basically first quarter we let brandon cooks get a touchdown let the rams drive all the way down the field man this is horrible definitely you know what i'm saying got to be better on defense defense is not getting home so far and this is an atrocity so as soon as they kick the ball off here go richie all the way down the damn field man this dude almost had the td man he put us in great field position so now we got to rely on the offense to do what they need to do baby they got great field position man they on the looks like the 22 yard line on, on the 18 yard line it's time to get into the fucking end zone let's get right into it people let's go all right so jimmy throws the ball gets a pass complete to debo samuel debo fumbles the ball but juice is right there to jump right on it man so y'all whoo boy i tell you man they really do have you know a lot of stress when you watch these games so he brings them you know what I'm saying? And they're trying to see if it, basically that ball came out before he was down. And now nah, knee was down, man. Knee was down. So that's not even a fumble. You know what I mean? Now we got to wait because we need them to go ahead and get this shit going, bro. This is crazy. I can't tell you. It stress you out watching these games, man. So then we got to run TC. He get us the first down. You know what I'm saying? This ain't too bad. Things are looking good. For the moment. So we gotta wait. Get back in the huddle, man. Let me show y'all what's up. Uh... Yeah, so y'all can see that, man. You know what I'm saying? That's just Jimmy. Jimmy being Jimmy, man. So it's first and goal, baby. So we're going to try to get this damn touchdown. Up, oh, low snap. Jimmy drops the ball, man. He barely got back to the line of scrimmage. That's technically a sack because he was behind the line of scrimmage. This ain't working, man. Dante Fowler was back there, and that's the thing. All night, I, when I, last video I had, I told y'all the guys we have to watch out for. There's Fowler, there's Clay Matthews, there's Aaron Donald. You know what I'm saying? There's Michael Brocker. So we got to be careful with that, you know. And that's some of the issues that we're going to possibly have going forward with him, with Ben Garland and Jimmy G, because it's just sometimes that communication. They worked all the, all together in the off season, you know. But if you don't always play with somebody, you got to rebuild that rhythm. So it's going to be a little hard, you know. And this second and goal was like one of the worst passes I've ever seen. The Rams sniffed that out within seconds. It was a pass to. Debo Samuel is supposed to be like almost like a little bubble screen, but they ate that shit alive. They they knew what was happening. The ball he didn't even catch the ball, man. It just went down. So <clears throat> now we on third and goal, man. And this is the issue. Like we down in the red zone and we should be scoring. There should be no reason for us to have anything less than a touchdown here. You know, we are too close. Richie gave us way too great a field position. This doesn't make any damn sense as it pertains to why, you know, and boom, he tried to hit Kittle, they had to play, man, you know what I'm saying, but to me, when you look at it, that play actually should have been pass interference, because he was face guarding, you know, the uh, offensive opponent, check this out. You see that? See, so the funny thing is, is in most instances, that's pass interference. But this instance, it wasn't. And we in our own house. It's make no sense. There you go. All right. We on the board, baby. We on the board. So now we got to get on and get to this next part of it, man. I'm trying to make this video quick. You know what I'm saying? Because this is, you know, more interactive. I'm trying to show y'all exactly what's going on. 
You know what I'm saying? It's real hard, but I'm going to try to do it as quick as possible. The one thing I can tell you is our run, what's weird is our run defense has stepped it up crazy. Like, we are getting better with run defense, but when you get better with run defense, we start to get bad. We start to get bad with the pass defense, man. And the defense has been doing a great job. We've been, we contain Ty Gurley so far, man. Just letting him go, you know, and do what he's, you know, he hasn't been doing what he's been doing, man. And we've been trying to contain them and do everything that we can. And I'll tell you right now, the faithful was super loud last night. I don't know how any of them on the Rams heard anything. But I'll tell you right now, you know what killed us? Play action. That play action pass, man. Golf did that to the T. Because this shouldn't have been a situation, man, where we were just stuck like Chuck on this one. You know, it was hard to deal with. But, you know, we did it. And believe you me, man, we were trying our best. To get everything rolling in the right direction. But let's see what happened, man. Let's see what we got. Aaron Donald is ridiculous, man. This guy is just... This dude, according to the next-gen stats, 62 QB pressure. This is ridiculous. This guy has way too much. You know, and we trying our damnedest just to get everything going. It's a whole lot sometimes trying to keep them dudes off of you, man. Especially when it comes down to Aaron Donald, bro. That's a lot. I'm trying to keep this cat off of you, man. Like, straight up. All right, guys. So this is our second drive. We got the ball. Looks like we're on about the 35-yard line. So now it's time for us to be able to get out there and do it again. We're still in the first quarter. But as you all know, this drive stalls. The rest of the first quarter isn't really that great, you know. Hand off to Raheem the Dream Mostert. And they're just trying to make everything happen. I believe the rest of this first quarter, man, is pretty, pretty solid. But I'm going to go ahead and skip through because there's no more scoring involved in here. It's just a lot of pass plays and everything like that. So let me try to get through to the second quarter, guys. So we can make this happen. Just bear with me, people. So I'm going to see what we got here. And he threw that ball a little bit over the line. Yeah, because that was that. Let's see here what's going on. What's going on? All right. That's the end of the first quarter. Now we into the second quarter. <laughs> I get these free phone football commercials, man. It's wild. But I ain't gonna lie, I watch that stuff all the time, man. You know what I'm saying? Download that app. They be they broadcasting the game. Why not? Man. Bro, they, Jesus Christ. So, Marshall Harris barely swipes. Oh, my God, man. These people call such, they call such ticky-tack penalties, man. You know, and here we go. Ty Gurley, he was on a quick little bounce out. He scored, man. And that that's that's what I'm saying. Bounce out to the outside. We have the outside contain. You know, they know they're not going to try to run up the gut on us right now because we've been containing them all game long. Look at this right here. Ty Gurley, bounce out. Boom. And that's how you know it because you know he's going to bounce out. So you got to be ready for that. Sharon wasn't ready. That's the score. That's it. That's the hard part, man. We got to be ready for stuff like that. So, we keep going, man. Got to keep going. And try to get to this next, you know, next, uh, this next play. Where we at, man? All right. So, first play of the second quarter. Nice little pitch to Debo. Debo strong arm his way for nine yards. Which is what he does, man. He always does this. Debo is just a beast like that. He's just crazy, man. 
So this is just, man, so wild, so wild. This game is off the chain, man, straight up off the chain. Like I said, I can't just fully broadcast the game because I can't do that, but I'll give y'all the scoring plays and show y'all what's happening. It's crazy when this stuff happens, man. Like, you just go nuts when you see it firsthand. It's just, it's just wild. Oof, yeah, they tried to straight ahead run, and he got, yeah, most of it got stood up. That line did not fold by any stretch of the imagination. They were ready the whole time. The whole time. So now we at third and one. 13.57 in the second. <laughs> they hiked the ball so goddamn fast. Jimmy Doe, four and four. Oh my God, man. <laughs> I, I, I had barely had time to see them put the ball down. They hiked the ball. Boom. First down. Check this out. He barely hikes the ball. So he was trying to get off the field. They had 13 people on the field. So we would have had the first down regardless. Y'all see that, man? <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is hilarious. So we had the first down in either way. They had 13 men on the field. We also had the uh, situation where we would have got that because we snuck it over there for that, that that one yard. You know what I'm saying? We're pretty good on fourth down, man. If you don't know, we really good on fourth down. So next thing, here we go. Red 18 hut, boom. So, all right, little screen. Oh, Debo, Debo, trying to get off, Debo. That man just be running, bro. He get them little. That's the that's the thing with Debo Samuel. It's getting the ball in his hands. He'll do the rest. Check this out, y'all. Look at this. I'm telling you. Pay close attention to how this works out. Boom. And look. All right, Debo, take the ball. Go. Go. Boom. Shifty. And look at the gut. Look at Ben Garland. He said, nope. He ain't taking my guy down. You know. There you go. That's how that works, man. Y'all got to be, like, you got to understand. That's why they picked him up, because they knew that's what he could do in the game. So, another little screen pass. Juice. Juice getting off. Nice. Juice getting off. That's how we do it, baby. So, we on, man. This, this drive, we rolling. You know what I'm saying? You see everything happening. You see the movement of the offense. Things are just going the right way. So you see that, boom, Juice gets the ball. He just cuts up and he goes. And McGlinchy downfield. Look at this big ass. McGlinchy rolling. Big boy getting downfield. Wow. Yeah, they trying, man. They, they, that's what they do, though. They, they're continually moving the ball. So you got to love that. Garoppolo hit the ball off to Debo Samuel. Debo Samuel, look at him. In there for the score. Play no games. You cannot take this man down. <laughs> you gotta love it, bro. Debo is a full on B. Check this out, guys. Look at this. He get the ball right over there. Boom. He stretches stretch the ball out over the pylon. That's a touchdown, guys. That is a full on T Dizzle for Shizzle. Look at him. You can't you can't stop him, man. He in there. That's exactly what that is. Boom. Scoring play. That's how you do it, man. No matter who trying to take him down, that man is unstoppable. Debo Samuel, man. Debo Samuel. It's just a beast, man. Straight up beast. You know what I'm saying? We just, he's great. Debo's great right there, man. So we got to get on and get through this. We got still got work to do. Got to get going. And get it back popping, man. So it's 14 to 10. Trying to skip through all this right now. See what we can do. Let's go, let's go. Because we on defense right now in the second quarter. And just trying to skip through this. See what we got. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go. 
Yeah, see this this drive, man. The Rams took like a cool little minute. And these little it's a little end around of Robert Woods, man. This is driving me insane because we had that when we first played them. That's when they drove down the field and were killing us. You know. Right now on this drive, yeah, they took the defense for a ride, man. They had us out there just looking stupid. You know. But it's all right. We still should be good. There ain't nothing to be worried about, man. That's cool. Just trying to get through everything quickly, people. Yep. And they just moving the ball, man. This is what was killing me. They was moving the ball on us the whole time. And the, the, the biggest issue we got right now, guys, is our defense. But our pass rush is not getting home like it used to, man. We just... I don't know what's happening or what's going on, but our, our pass rush is just not getting home like it used to. It used to get home. We used to be all right, man. And now, I don't know what's happening. You know, I had seen that, man. And it was just, it's, it's disheartening because we used to get home, man. Our first eight to ten games, we was getting home. We was killing quarterbacks. They was afraid to be in the pocket. Now they can stand back there like statues and it doesn't make a difference. They got all day. They could have lunch, dinner, and breakfast again if they want to, man. This is crazy. It's really hard for us right now. We're just trying our best to keep things going in the right direction. And then here we go with another Todd Gurley score. And that's the hard part, man. So, gotta let that roll. See what we got here. So, this is that next drive before halftime. I think we run the clock pretty much mostly here, but I can tell you right now, I don't believe that we're going to be able to uh, score on this drive. I think we start scoring again in the third quarter because this one was a lot, you know. This game was a hard-fought game, man. They had us going crazy, but I think either we scored here or we scored in the third quarter on stopping them. But we'll see what happens, man. This is the next drive. I know this video is probably going to be hella long, but this is all highlights and it's just like Stuff you got to see, man. First bag, Garoppolo, George Kittle. George Kittle going up the field. Big boy. He just dropped that shoulder and laid somebody down, man. If y'all don't know, man, that's what George Kittle do when he get that first down, baby. Look at this run. Look at him. Boom. Got it. All right. Nobody blocked. Cool. I'm out here. He's dope like that, man. George is dope like that. Up and... Yeah, they read that. They read that play right there, man. That's what I'm saying. Clay Matthews is in the backfield. So the the hard part for us is, is that they know our offense because it's very similar to what McVay runs. So practicing against that all year long is too easy to be able to read. And then they'll see everything. You know, they'll watch the tape. And Shanahan's going to have to get a lot more creative for us to be able to do what we need to do to get right, man. This is just way too hard for us, way too hard. And we want to be better than this, and we want to look better than this at all times. The defense is, the defensive line, man, is not getting where it needs to go. We need to step it up. And this was a pitch to Debo that they sniffed out real easy, man, real easy. Our drive is just it's not good at all. So it's a little bit hard for us because we're trying our damnedest to be able to make sure that we make plays. But, you know, you know you got Debo in the back. Just It was basically the situation where he stayed. I think he, he was dancing a little too much. He should have hit the hole hard. A true running back knows when you're following, you know, your blocks and you fight. You got two guys already blocked. You got your, your right tackle out there blocking. You got your uh, tight end blocking, and everybody's got to do it. You know what I'm saying? You follow that, that fullback right into the hole. Bop. And you got to hit it. You got to hit it hard. Don't be indecisive and look around. You want to have vision to see the whole field. But if you see the block, you follow the block and you hit it hard. Boom. Because if you hit that hard, chances are you're going to have yourself a nice little game right there. Let your, you know, let your tackle and let your tight end do their job with the blocking and just be, you know, confident in that. And that's kind of why it's a little hard sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Debo is new to being a running back because he played wide receiver, but when he gets the ball, he runs like a running back as far as like running hard. He's pretty good about that. <laughs> TC and Jalen Ramsey over there getting into it. He basically telling Jalen, come tackle me, baby. Come tackle me. Get in it. Get in it. Let's go. 
You gotta love that, man. You gotta love that. Jaw jacking between players, I like it. I think it's I think it's perfect for the game, man. It keeps it entertaining because it makes you wanna go hard. You know, and then having the respect for each other at the end of the game. It's always beautiful, man. It's always beautiful. But this about to be it, man. We trying to make a run. We got 440 left in the second quarter, man. We moving the ball. You know what I'm saying? We doing what we got to do. We trying to make it happen. Jimmy over there waiting. He in the pocket. Boom. Hit big Kittle on a nice little, nice little drop. Bow. First down. Big Kittles, man, you got to so hard to stop this dude, man. Check him out. Boom. Look at that. Bop. Nice one. Good little run, man. It's a great run. And he does exactly what he needs to do, man. Kittle is doing everything that he's supposed to be doing. He just continues to keep rolling. So now we got a first and 10. Look like we're on about the 30-yard line, guys. 30-yard line. Let's see what happens. Okay, he hit Sanders on a nice pass, but Jalen Ramsey right there to shut him down. You know, he came he, did, he came in like a little bullet train out of nowhere. I didn't even know Jalen Ramsey. <laughs> All you see is uh, Emmanuel Sanders catch the ball, then Jalen Ramsey the screen like two seconds later. Bow! Just knock him down. But it's all good. You know, it happens. Guys, this next one, seven plays, eight yards, chewing up the clock. Boom, Garoppolo, get to KB. KB, fight forward for the touchdown. Y'all got to respect that, man. KB is dope, man. KB is dope. He's real good. You know, he's actually real dope, man. KB ain't no joke. Y'all got to start respecting that, man. Put some respect on his name, man. KB fights hard every game, and he does what he has to do. Yeah, he gets annoying to me, too, as well, when he starts to laugh about everything. But, I mean, hell, from all the interviews, Shanahan told me that that's, they told us that he would be standing there telling something very serious. He'd be smiling the whole goddamn time. But even though he's smiling, he gets it, which is crazy because I'd be looking at it like, bro, I'd want to strangle dude. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to you seriously. He's just laughing at me the whole time. So then Raheem the Dream, boom, right up the gut, baby. That's that TD I was telling you all about, man. Raheem the Dream, baby. That, that's what's up. Check this out, y'all. Scoring play right here. Raheem the Dream, mostly. Bow. Touchdown, Raheem the Dream, baby. You got to be ready for it. You got to surf. You got to surf with that man. He all telling you. That's it, bro. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Raheem the Dream. And it's PAT by uh, by um, Robbie Gold is good on this one, so be solid. And this takes us into halftime. I'll give y'all a separate video for the next next half. <laughs> 